The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. This is Steve Rhodes, and, and today is July 5th, uh, so if you're listening in at the normal time, maybe you can guess we're actually uh, recording this on July 5th, so it's the morning. Happens to be 8, uh, just past 8 o'clock in the uh, morning, so we're going to make today's show as relevant as we can for you if you're listening in at the normal 1 o'clock hour. If you're listening in at 8, I'd love to hear from you, so you can give me a call at 877-927-6648. Of course, we've made things real easy for you. If you uh, can't call in, you can always uh, let those fingers do the dialing, so to speak. Uh, that's right. You can just send me an email, steve at tfn.com. Inside the subject heading, just put radio show question, and we'll go ahead and get to uh, that. And I hope everyone out there had a great uh, Fourth of July. Love uh, all the fireworks. You like the fireworks out there? I'm pretty fortunate. You know, I used to own uh, stores inside the uh, theme parks, Disney World, Disneyland, Universal Studios, all the major parks out there. And so if I was ever at the stores in the evening as the parks were coming to the close, you know, all you had to do is just look out uh, the door and just see amazing uh, fireworks displays, 365 days a year out there. <clears throat> and so it's great. Uh, you know, th these days, I just get to walk out the door, sit on the beach, and watch the fireworks that are shot uh, off. Uh, I live in Delray Beach, and uh, they, they always uh, shoot off fireworks here. Then you're, you're just looking down the beach, down uh, to the north towards uh, Boynton Beach and Palm Beach, and you can watch those fireworks or turn over your head and watch the fireworks in uh, off the uh, off the uh, inlet in uh, Boca. So uh, love. And then what's really great. I think, because the best fireworks I've ever seen display are the ones in New York. And so it's great. You just walk back in to the house. You uh, turn on the uh, speakers and uh, watch that display go on for the next, you know, half hour or so. In any event, we're going to go check out, see if there's any fireworks in the uh, markets this morning. Right now, as of 8.08 .08 a.m., you've got Dow Futures off 50 points, NASDAQ down 19. Um, so nothing big. A quarter of a percent is the max out here as we speak right now. U.S. dollar index is up a quarter of a percent. Trading out around 96.56. Uh, gold's off nearly six dollars, 560. Silver, six pennies to the downside. Light sweet crude is off 53 cents. So, uh, so the question would be, I guess, or or what they, you know is is uh, what do I do to start my day and take in a look at? I, I really do this intraday as well. So any time the day to to uh, gauge a message of the markets. What are the markets communicating to you and I? It's one thing to say, hey. Uh, equity futures are off uh, 50 bucks inside the uh, Dow or 19 inside the NQ or six inside the ES Mini. But what does that mean? Is it is it a sign that the market's moving lower? Is it a sign the market's uh, formed a bottom? You know, what what is it? So what do I, I always look at? So I develop these tools, the Bob tools out there, bullish or bearish, as, in a way of, of objectively interpreting the message of the markets. That way it's not left up to me. It's just the set of tools that you and I use <clears throat> to help us understand whether something's bullish or bearish and then whether something is uh, identifying a top. And by top here, the one top that I look for, the Rose Momentum Indicator top out here. And here, what we can see on the very right-hand side in the little white uh, background area <clears throat> are uh, the different intraday time frames, a, a, a half-hour time frame, a one-hour, a two-hour, and then the uh, five-hour time frames out here. So I'm always looking, you know, because this helps me. It helps me get my head wrapped around, okay, what is the message of the markets, at least for that specific time frame, right? So now when we take a look at this, you and I as pilots as to, uh, you know, I'll be your co-pilot, you be the pilot. You look at the messages, the last four um, panels on the uh, in the white background area out there. You'll see on the short term, on a 30-minute basis, it shows bottom signals for the ESCNQ and the uh, Dow. You look to the uh, two-hour and then you see topping signals for the NQ and the uh, Dow. And on the five hour, you've got a topping signal uh, inside the uh, inside the Dow as well. So so the messages are clear with regard to, hey, what are you expecting potentially at 810? Now, there's a jobs report coming out. 
uh, at 8.30, and we'll see some type of market reaction there. You and I are always looking to see, you know, is there some kind of, is there some kind of tell in the market out here? So right now we know we have competing patterns. The 30 minute and the two hour chart just says, hey, that's where we should spend our time to look for signal information, see what the markets are communicating to you and I. So on a 30 minute basis out here, uh, and that wasn't the case when I sent out my newsletter to subscribers this morning. So, you know, for their benefit, let's go take a look at that. We did explore the two-hour time frame charts out there and levels of, of uh, support. Uh, but we didn't have the 30-minute uh, signal. So let's go look at the 30-minute signals. Let's start with the ES Mini just to see what it's communicating uh, to you and I. So it said that uh, bottom signal out there. Well, what, what, what's that mean? Well, if we take a look at the ES Mini actually uh, for 30-minute base, we're going to see two patterns. First, we're going to see what we like to take a look uh, what we like to refer to properly referred to as the TD setup nine count pattern. That's where you have uh, nine successive, in this case here, because it's to the downside, right? Nine successive closers with each, nine successive closes, with each close being below the close of the bar, four bars earlier. That gives you that uh, momentum or that breakdown move. In fact, inside the ES Mini, on a 30 minute basis, the breakdown occurred at a price level of 3,003.75. That's where price, that began the nine successive counts to the downside. Now, in this case here, a real valid bottoming, potential bottoming signal because the low of that count occurred on bar eight. When it occurs on bars eight, nine, or 10, then you start paying attention, look for some other levels of support or, or resistance out here. And what we can see is during this uh, eight to 8.30 session, we've seen price actually move a tad lower. I don't know if it's actually taken. Now, let me see the price point on that bar eight at the low is 29.93 and a quarter. And we got down to a low of 29.93 and a quarter. So we've just tagged it. But if price does close below that, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. It says that the TD setup nine count pattern is not the valid one. But instead, the Rose Momentum Indicator signal, and that's what that uh, system, Bob, bullish or bearish, was communicating to you. Are. So what does this mean? Well, as price is pushing lower right now, we're going to get the jobs report at 8.30. This bar is going to complete at 8.30. The next bar will be from 8.30 to 9 on a 30-minute basis. If you were to uh, get a bullish reversal candle, then that would say, okay, price is going to go target. The first level would be 3000 even Steven, that's the top of the uh, daily box for a 30-minute time basis. You would expect resistance at Stevie's red line, 29.96. Um, and if price is able to break above 3,000 and back to the breakdown level, 3,003 out here. What if price continues to move lower? Well, then we continue to see does price continue to move lower with strength or without strength out there? As long as it's without strength and these lines will continue to form, then all you're doing is waiting for if, at least from a bottom signal perspective you're waiting for the cavalry or some type of bullish reversal candle to arrive what happens if price is going to go lower so here we've got our lower target uh, which right now we know that the message of the markets is it's pushing on a string lower without energy into july 5th which is a light trading session out here uh, so don't misinterpret or read the mere fact that Dow equity futures are down or, or the ES is off six points out here, that it's some great uh, earthquake, so to speak. How about that for yesterday? Earthquake in California. Not, not unusual. Hopefully that was the biggie. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. It's July 5th, 814 in the morning. Coming to you live. Delray Beach. We'll be right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $197 a month with the risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today, and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, July 5th, uh, 818 in the morning, if you listen to 118. Now, we'll try to make the show as pertinent as we can. We were discussing or taking a look at the short-term, the 30-minute chart for the ES Mini because of the bottoming signal uh, that it is uh, showing to us. So we've got the jobs numbers coming out in about 12, number, 12 minutes or so. May move markets, may not move markets out here. We're looking for some early uh, clues out here. In the case of the NQ, because we'd mentioned it was the four equity future contract, 30-minute uh, time frames that were showing those bottoms and we were looking at the two bottoms that in essence had been forming at least in the ES mini in the NQ it's the same thing you can see the TD set up nine count but price did actually move below that level out there so it negates that pattern it negates it in my mind as a bottoming uh, pattern out here but price is pushing lower doing less relative energy my system will continue to draw those signals to make us aware of that situation um, because when price is pushing lower with less relative energy, it tells us that it's not a real move out here. Very similar to if you look at the NQ on a 30-minute basis, it was doing that same thing at its most recent high out here. So the patterns, and the, and the cool thing is, is that these same patterns work on any time frame. Um, and that really helps us to understand the bigger picture of the markets out here. Um, the pattern itself doesn't confirm until you get a bullish reversal candle. So you can't use this as a, I mean, you, you, an aggressive trader still, you'd like to have some type of confirmation out here. So what's this telling us? Telling us um, one of a couple things, either the market is going to find this bottom and bounce and inside the NQ resistance is between 78.97 and 79.08 where price actually broke down. Or if there's a real move to the downside, which is another possibility, this pattern here will will just simply evaporate. Price will push lower, do with more energy out there. And then that says that the uh, two-hour time frame charts could be the guide as to what to anticipate. Remember, they... 30-minute charts showed bottoming signals. Two-hour charts uh, for the NQ and the uh, Dow were showing... Uh, topping patterns out here. So here we can see that Rhodes momentum indicator top. 
generated with the bearish uh, reversal signals out here. We now see that uh, price is trading below support on the two-hour time frame. And so the push lower, if there is a push lower with the uh, jobs numbers, should really find support where price broke out. Remember, price breakout or price breakdown for our purposes described because of the uh, the TD set of nine count, the nine count being where you have nine successive closes, either the upside or the downside in this case here, would be to the upside where the close of that bar is above the close of the bars, four bars earlier out there. Just gives you that momentum. Where did that race begin? Because if we take a look at this chart out here for a two hour time frame, without that tool, if I were to ask you where the breakout occurred, then you are stuck with one thing going back to the swing point, the low or the high out here. And not that that's invalid, I'd say that's more valid for drawing retracement levels from uh, A to B, so to speak, out here. But the real breakout, the real energy, the real party, the RSVP to move to higher price in the NQ on the two-hour time frame began at 78.30. So 78.30, uh, price could pull back to that level inside the NQ. So that's the downside. So you're trying to understand the downside uh, risk. Uh, that I would say, and the upside coming from the 30 minute, that, that's what we're dealing with. But what will be easier for us to look at is to recognize this right now and just simply come back after the 830 and look at this more towards the um, later, you know, the late, late, not right at 830, but we'll look at that for sure. Uh, but more as we're coming into nine for the actual uh, signal inside the markets. With regard to the Dow out here, the Dow Equity Futures contract, it's two hour. Um, chart out here. So in that same pattern here, roads momentum indicator top and support here will be 26.762. So that's quite a bit lower to the uh, downside considering we're at 26.9 right now. But nonetheless, that would be what the downside target would be if, in fact, price decides to move lower with some energy out there. I don't know what the outcome is going to be out here with regard to the job, but we're just going to wait and see and then go back and make an interpretation inside the market. Now, we can do the same kind of thing. We can do the same, same exact thing for gold out here. But in the case of gold, let me pull this back over. This was really the tool that began it all, Bob, bullish or bearish with Stevie's signals out here. And I do have the two hour time. I'm sorry. I do have the gold contract. And we can see I also have its 31 hour, two hour to five hour. And I don't have any signals for bottom or top. So what we just have going on right now inside of Goldilocks. Let's go take a look at Goldilocks. It's just a garden variety retracement at this stage down 640. Now that garden variety retracement also provides you and I with support and resistance out here. Resistance is very clear. It's 1432.80 uh, on a closing basis. That is the top of its profile. If we take a look at this profile right now, what you and I know is that this is an equal is an equally uh, distributed profile because the center at 1412 is, is really pretty much in the center between the top and the bottom. The bottom are 1392.50. So gold's response, the levels to be watching today, would be the top of the box, 1432.80, and the bottom of the box, 1392.50. Now, especially helpful on a holiday Friday when not a lot of people are paying attention because you're out still, many people still in bed. Uh, boy, how that sounds pretty nice to me. And no, not because it's 124 in the afternoon, although let's face it, there's nothing wrong with the power nap. It's because it's 824 in the morning. So downside, you're watching 1392.50. If there was a close below 1392.50 today, folks, uh, this would be telling you uh, to the extent that you can trust a light volume Friday. But what it would be telling you is prices headed lower. In fact, what it would be telling you is that gold has formed its next uh, fairly major top out here. Yeah, I know. And you won't hear that most other places out there. Uh, but, but that's what it would tell you. But we're not there just yet. But you do know the price point to watch. 1392.50. And then we would just simply add this one little candle to the icing on that cake, which would be... You really need to see two closes below 1392.50. There needs to be confirmation or follow through to a downside. So we know what to look at to the upside, to the downside for gold. We know what to be watching for inside the equity futures markets. And so let's go to our first question out there. Apparently, we've woken up one person. That's Earl, the pearl. Earl writes in. Earl says, hey, Steve. Hey, Earl. Thanks for being. Hey, by the way, thanks for being up early and checking in. Oh, I just lost the message. That's not good. 
Uh, oh, John in Sarasota, he's also up. Uh, okay, the early birds are catching the worm. That would make me the worm, the tequila worm out there. But Earl asked the question, uh, do you see a pullback, think capital letters, this year to have a level, to a level for longer-term investors to buy for a move to above the 30000 in a dollar? I, I do, Earl. Um, if we... So the answer to your question is yes. The markets, even though you're at new all-time highs, the markets, in my opinion, have not broken out. Now, I know you might say, what what the heck are you talking about, Steve-O? Um, well, here's... Okay, let me see this. Here's the Dow out here. And uh, let me just kind of turn a couple things on and off and because uh, I don't want these profiles on there. They're not reliable for the uh, cash indices out here. Let me get rid of that test of that high out there. And let's just do really it might be easier. No, nah, let's just do it like this. So I, I won't consider there to be a breakout underway inside of the Dow Cash Indice. Here's what I'm going to do, Earl. I'm just going to connect the dots. Don't know what color line we've got, but I'm going to connect the high from January 26th. I'm going to connect the high from October 3rd, and we're going to extend that to the right. That's all I'm going to do. Extend it to the right. Try to extend it to the right before we go off the air. Uh, I'll have to extend it to the right. Now, we'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, uh, folks. So 830 jobs uh, report uh, numbers are out. Uh, we're going to pay attention to uh, the futures. Well, really all the markets out here. You've got uh, gold's uh, initial reaction to the downside, 13 bucks to the downside. Um, it, my system is uh, acting a little slow here uh, as we speak. So we're not seeing a big movement just yet in the fu equity futures piece of the pie so uh, but markets uh, certainly are moving so payrolls looks like are up by uh, 224,000 I don't really know what that means does that, do you know what that means out there um, so uh, but uh, you know we'll so we'll let kind of let this play out here for a bit let the system unclog itself so to speak but I want to go back and so that allows me to really re-answer Earl's question out there and Earl's question was do I see the market uh, pulling back um, to allow longer term investors to uh, find that next bottom to to surf the markets up to the 30 40 50 thousand range it, it, yes, that's right, inside of the uh, Dow. And the answer there is yes. But let's look at it like this. Let's just look at the charts out here, and you can just follow along. I was trying to draw in some resistance line, and as I said, I don't really uh, consider the markets at new all-time highs to have broken out. Now, when I say broken out, really taking a look at this chart here, uh, folks, uh, up in the upper left-hand corner is the Dow, the S&P to the right, NASDAQ lower left, Russell 2000 on the uh, right-hand side. Now, these are the cash indices, so you're not going to see any movement in these here uh, in the uh, pre-market. But uh, all that I've done here, Earl, and you can do the same thing at home if you uh, have uh, access to charting, I'm just using the high from January. This is for the Dow, and this is for the S&P 500. So I'm using the high from January of 2018. I'm using the high from October of 2018, just connecting those two dots and then extending that diagonal line off to the right. And that is where pricing uh, would need to uh, close above on a monthly basis to tell me that, hey, I'm wrong. The market is, in fact, breaking out and is taking off. And that takeoff time, you know, is, in fact, right now. That is not the case. If that's not the case, then what we would anticipate just simply, well, from a number of different reasons, but certainly seasonality being one of those, that a move lower into either October of this year or January of next year would be that uh, referred to uh, bottom signal there, Earl. So that's what I see when I take a look at the uh, markets uh, as we uh, speak. Uh, John writes in from, uh, from uh, Sarasota and uh, is pass ready to move. So let's go take a look at this. Let's uh, take a look at three time frames out here, daily, weekly, and monthly. Try to answer that question. P-A-A-S, by the way, folks, is the uh, ticker symbol. Yeah, that's the one that uh, we want. So let's uh, P-A-A-S. That is uh, Pan American Silver, I believe. So the question is, the question is, why is my system here uh, being so slow? Now, that's a problem at 8.33 in the morning. But uh, the system, I guess, just freezing up slightly based upon jobs numbers. Now, that's a real bummer out there. That is a major bummer. Okay, so while this thing here hopefully is populating, what can I do? What can I, you always got to have a plan B. Even if you don't have a plan B, make sure you have a makeshift plan B out here. So what's our plan B? Our plan B is the following. Oh, man, those. So the earlier this morning, the uh, ES Mini NQ and the Dow were trying, attempting to form new market profiles. But uh, they have, those two have since vanished. So I was going to share with you some cool information. Um, and I can't. Well, I can. All I have to actually do is just pull up the newsletter. Why don't I do that? Because then I can refer back to those numbers. They should be numbers to watch. Now, the profiles themselves, as we can see right now, haven't taken effect. But I was using Stevie's Super Doppler uh, tool out there, which is an advanced tool to assist us with. And, and the nice thing about having those profiles is it lets you know where support or resistance might be. And the reason I was going to it from a Plan B standpoint was because well, it was fairly important to understand out here. So here is the daily. I'll just pull it up here. Give me a moment to do that. And you'll see what we were looking at. And it is right, right here. Here we go. So and I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not. Hopefully you can. Let me try to, can I expand this? How do I do this? Oh, yeah, I can expand it. I can go something like what, view? Zoom, 100%? Zoom, all right, Zoom. Give me a percentage, there we go. So, uh, hey, hey, 
There we go. Just type in the percentage. So let me try 125. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, I think we can go to 150. Can't we? But here, here, I think maybe you can see it well enough. Um, question is, can my eyes, can my eyes see it? So it looks like what we've got here is we've got inside the ES Mini. Uh, it may be hard to read, but the profile it's attempting to form is a bearish structured box out here with 3006 being the top of it and support being 2951. Uh, inside the NQ, the top of that box was uh, 7907 and support at 7792. So those are key levels. And inside the Dow, you can see the new profile was forming within the box out here. So we're not going to spend any time there. But the, now, as I had mentioned to you, right now, as we speak at 836, those profiles uh, don't exist out here. Um, but those would still be the numbers, because I know what's happening, in essence, behind the scene. And speaking of behind the scene, uh, we still don't have Pan American Silver. Now, that's a real bummer out there, John. My apology uh, for that. I don't know. I just must have too many things uh, going on in the uh, background. I left a a number of different tools open this morning, uh, thinking that I was probably just uh, talking to myself, uh, so to speak. And um, um, uh, and so maybe I need to close a couple of those things, but I don't want to necessarily do that during the show. So as we speak right now, 8.36 in the morning, again, the show is being recorded. This is live July the 5th, but you can see all those yellow uh, little boxes over here on the left that's telling me I've got a delayed uh, data feed right now. So um, I can't really tell you that futures, equity futures are down 63 points. I don't know. We're flying blind here. Oh, man, what a bummer. So, okay, so what are we going to do next then? Um, I can oh, you go, go back to my – so it says gold is off 21 bucks. How about Tucker in the den? You got smack gold. Is it, what's it down right now? Is it down – I, actually, gold doesn't. Gold's coming through live. Let's spend some time on gold, right? I don't have a yellow box here on uh, Goldilocks. So twenty bucks. So let me see. Here is here is here. Here's the chart. Here's the chart. Yeah, I'm looking for my wingman to uh, help me out here. Um, but here's the chart for gold, which appears to be uh, appears to be live. So again, we 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 mentioned earlier. That uh, a price is trading within its range, 22 bucks. Thanks. Um, so here's what we know about gold. And that's a number of different things out here, and it, so this is going to support for you my reason why I say I think gold's formed a major top out there. And I know I'm one of the few that say that, or at least that I hear that say that. But that's okay. That's what I say. So here's a daily time frame chart. It's not really what I say. It's what the charts say. <clears throat> Can you imagine? Can you imagine if I didn't share that with you yet each day, you know, 200 plus days a year out here, we use a certain standard, certain set of tools, about four or five of them help us identify tops and bottoms out there. And then they form and then they form. I just ignore it. That's what I should tell you. So those of you that do listen to the show, that pay attention to the tools that we use, whether it's wave number seven, letter G, which formed the bottom in gold, whether it's the CD set up nine count, which right now has the high in gold out here. And this says, hey, if price goes below 1392, you better watch 1336. But right now, support hasn't broken. 1392.50 for Goldilocks out there. Here it if you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. What should you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190.
If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, hey, it's 8.42 in the morning. Thanks for listening in. Steve Rhodes coming to you uh, live from uh, Delray Beach, uh, Florida. Hopefully everybody had a great uh, 4th of July. We're looking at the fireworks uh, this morning in the uh, markets. Uh, right now, Dow Equity Futures are off 87 points, about three-tenths of a percent of the downside. The NASDAQ is off six-tenths of a percent, so we should spend some time there. Gold's down about 20 bucks, uh, so be careful there. Watch the close, even though it's a holiday. Watch the close. Just watch the numbers out out there um, we do have the system looks like uh, back up and running out here so uh, we had questions from uh, a question from John in Sarasota two questions one was passed PAAS and the question is uh, um, I wasn't exactly sure of the question but let's go take a look at at the charts and uh, see exactly what it's doing so here's what we know about Pan American Silver first let me see what it's trading at here in the uh, pre-market uh, so let me uh, type in the symbol here as well, uh, close at 12.95. Last trade fired off at 12, between 12.75 and 12. We'll call 12.75 looks like the uh, real price out here, and 12.75 just down 20 cents, no big deal. So with inside Pan American Silver, uh, you can see it's got a bearish structure daily profile that price is trading into. Perhaps more importantly, because it's Friday, is that the uh, counter trend rally in Pan American Silver may be over. Uh, this would be the second week in a row, John, if you had a close below 13.10, which is the top of the uh, weekly profile. So that's resistance. That's your significant resistance level. Now, the confirmation that that was a significant resistance level would have to be a close below the bottom of the daily box at 11.79 out there. Now, Pan American Silver on the daily time frame, when it made that higher high out there, um, all that it was doing was creating that TD setup nine count pattern. Remember, on the nine count pattern, you've got uh, four successive closes above the close four bars earlier. And when the pattern exists out here, you watch for bars eight, nine, or the bar following nine. In this case here, that happened to be 
the that high that moved to the upside but then there was a sell-off during that session created that dark cloud cover candle bearish reversal signal and uh, inside of pan american silver 1267 would be a number to also look at today that is stevie's green line that's the uh, oscillator unchanged line it's green meaning you have a rising price oscillator above zero rising process price oscillator above zero meaning the difference between its 19 and 39 day exponential moving average yeah. Um, and uh, so as long as price uh, remains about 1267, mm, lukewarm, uh, but still bullish, uh, below 1267 says look out 1179, below 1179, 1135. So you've got a topping signal out here. You've got resistance on the weekly. Um, I don't know what your question completely meant out there, but hopefully this helps you with regard to uh, what your upside issues are, which is a topping signal, and your downside support. And it could just be a retracement back to support. So I don't know whether you're in uh, where you got in. Uh, let's face it, if you got in down at the uh, very bottom out here at 1026, it's a heck of a gain to give back. Um, in any event, you've, you've got to make the financial decisions with regard to Pan American Silver. I think sand, let's try putting up sand out here. Uh, and, yeah, we got the market uh, system working back up. And that you were asking about this equity. Now, this equity here, slightly different from the standpoint that uh, price has traded into the top of its daily profile, just kind of consolidating between 536 and 573 out here the with the weekly slightly more bullish but in the case of sandstrom gold it too formed a, a td setup a nine count top out here it was on bar number eight so that's your significant resistance but what price did was it pulled back to support the breakout level that td setup line at 540 and so you there there's really your range is the highs in the 590 ish down to the 540 uh, level um, you've got a topping pattern that form price pulled back to support in hell. That's not too shabby out here. Um, in the weekly time frame with regard to Sandstrom Gold, what do we see out here? Um, you see this congestion, right? You can see the bearish up at these highs, so you know where you're up at resistance, and that includes last week's dark cloud cover candle. So um, I think it's really consolidating, John. Uh, and now, so you kind of know what the low area is and, and where the highs are. And the highs were basically as of uh, last week out there. So hope that helps you out and uh, have a uh, happy, uh, well, 5th of July celebration out there and a uh, safe weekend. See if there's any other requests. We don't have any other requests out here. Um, nothing inside the uh, Tiger's Den. And uh, so let's go back to take a look at the uh, equity uh, futures contracts out here. So we haven't spent any time there. Get a feel. So we were looking at the 30-minute time frame charts, right? We were noticing prices moving lower, doing less relative energy out there. That's always important. But let's go see, is that pattern still in play? Do we have energy or not? Now move lower. See how my line out here? Let me just make sure I don't have this on, on the close of the session. So let me just make sure I don't have it on the close of the uh, session out there and that it's live. No, it's it's live. So price is moving lower and it's doing it with energy. If it wasn't, it would have the line would have continued to draw on down there. So so the support level that it was going after, it being the ES mini was 2893.25. That's that's the next breakout area out here. And price got down to almost that area. So that's the level to watch. 2894 is the number versus 2983.25. So three ticks away. That's the support level inside the ES mini on a 30 minute a time frame out here if that level fails again let's go back to the two no the two hour time frame did not have that pattern so let's go to the nq the nq where in the 30 minute and the two hour we had a bottom potential bottom signal and then the topping signal uh let me just uh, hit the update here let's see if price is moving lower with less relative energy no the answer is also with energy out there and uh, we've got uh, price came down and tested that next level of support there's two of them out here 78 40 7842.25 and 7825.75. Why don't I just do this and extend those lines? So let me do that, and then you'll be able to see uh, if those levels of support held. Let's just uh, ramp that up, see if this works here. Watch those lines come across there. Yeah, you can say, let me do it a little bit more. In the meantime, let's go out to uh, Philly, uh, the, the city of brotherly love, and speak with uh, John. John, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? 
Steve, I'm doing very well, uh, and thank you for doing this post-holiday show. Hey, no problem. Uh, most of us are trying to take the day off, but uh, kudos to you, sir. Yeah, no problem. My pleasure. My pleasure. Hey, it's uh, we're a team. We're a team. <laughs> hey, and and you're the you're the captain of the gold team. So be captain of the gold <laughs> team out there. Hey, Steve. Oh, speaking of gold, I wanted to ask if you could just elaborate upon something. Yeah. Uh, I listened intently to uh, your uh, discussion, as you see it, of the gold price. So thank you for that. Um, I, I can understand. Uh, did I lose you? No, I'm here. I'm listening. I'm listening I'm quiet, sure. more quietly than I normally do. So I'm totally focused on you. Okay, very good. I can understand uh, the uh, short-term high scenario up with that 1441, 1443 highs the past couple of days. Um, for me, um, I am holding the bullish view that dips are for buying so long as 1388 to 1366 holds. Can you tell me if you're right that the top is in, how far we might decline lower? Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Hey, John, thanks for calling in. I'll do that during the uh, last two minutes of the show. And have a, a terrific July 5th and weekend. We'll be right back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information.
Welcome, folks, to the July 5th uh, uh, show out here. It is uh, 8.54 in the morning if you're listening live at 1 o'clock. Uh, thanks so much for doing that. Uh, we'll be back. Hey, Monday's show is also going to be recorded from 8 to 9 a.m. out there. So the question that we're going to try to answer here for uh, John in Philly is um, with regard to the topping signals that Stevie sees here inside of gold. One of those, if you take a look at this weekly chart out here, you're going to see the A to B equals CD pattern completed last week, 14.38. 30. Uh, it did generate a shooting star candle. So one of the things, John, that I'm looking for is to see if there's a lower close this week. Typically, the way that shooting stars work, not always, but typically, you look for follow through. If there's a close below last week's low, well, that would be follow through to the downside. If there's not, what does it mean? It means there wasn't follow through. But what it doesn't mean is that, okay, gold's moving higher. If you take a look at this chart, and the question was, where is gold? Where could gold pull back to if it closes below the 1360-ish area out here? And one of those levels that Stevie would look at on this chart would say 1360, um, out there. And that's just simply coming back to some highs back here in October of 2013 out here. So here's the long-term resistance. Uh, that's the uh, little yellow dash lines, 1434, 1392. Takes you back into August of 2013 out there. The pullback I would expect would pull back into the trend line established from the lows in 2015 and the next touch point out here in August of 2018. If you're going to ask me for a price, it's in the 1200 range out there. If we take a look at its uh, primary trading range boundary lines out here, uh, those are horizontal lines of support or resistance, ceilings and floors out here. What we can see is the weekly and the monthly. Weekly are green, monthly are red. I back that is really good uh, levels of support or resistance, John. Next level of support to the downside, you're using 1360s. Well, the weekly is 1359.40. Then below that, you're looking at 1324. Then below that, 1292. And then finally around the 1225-ish range. That is, in essence, where I think gold would be pulling back to. That trend line. And then it is probably off to the races for years to come. So we can be a bull and a bear. Hey, folks, thanks for being here. Stay tuned for another great programming hour at TFNN. Have a terrific weekend. We'll see you Monday morning, 8 a.m. sharp. Take care.